Hi, I'm Allie McLean for Electro Mixer, and we are not at the Will Turn with my chemist. Hello. Yo, what's up? Thanks for being here. And today you are doing the Hard Cell with DJ Shadow. Mm-hmm. You've Bringing it on. back to LA. Yeah. You've been, welcome back to your home. Thanks. It's been a long journey through snow. Yes. How long? How long have you been on the road? A month? Uh, we've been on the road for one month. Exactly one month. Wow. Started in January on January fifteenth. How do you How do you uh, take a big extravaganza like this with all of the audio visual equipment? How, what does that entail? Eight people. Just eight. I know. We uh, we consolidated. I can't remember what we did for the bowl, but obviously for the Hollywood Bowl was a it was a lot bigger because of the venue. But um, we consolidated. We have a visual guide that does all the visuals, obviously. Um, a, a monitor guy to obviously work our monitors for sound. A production manager, a tour manager, a merchandise person, a uh, kid koala as a support act. Um, so he shit too. He actually does. Not He's because nice anybody guy. tells him to, but he was like, hey, can I help out with that? Wow, what a great But guy. he was asking the other guys, not yeah, you, because like, hey, you don't do it. I was like, fuck this. <laughs> Ruin my precious little hands. You are a hand model now, right? Look at that. That is gorgeous. That's why Those you're becoming an hands. actor. I know. We'll talk about that afterwards. So what else? Okay. Uh, and that's it. And then me and Shadow. So that's eight people plus the, dri- the bus driver, which makes nine. That's a little happy family. It is. Yep. For hours and hours at a time. Yep. In a small, In a confined, space. moving space. And then does the, do the records have their own van? Yeah. They're, they're like a... Like it's a like a Brinks, Brinks truck. <laughs> truck. Yeah. Rolls up, armored. Yep. And we have our spares and our primary copies and our little boxes. Yeah, that's cool. Do you ever worry about a fire, like, wiping out all the records? All the there? records? Um, Do you have climate control it, it's happened. Your- I mean, um, Q-Tip lost his entire record collection. Jam Master J lost his record collection, and somebody else. Do you have like night terrors about? I don't care. That's why I don't buy like really good records. I buy like kind of okay records because if I lose them, I don't care. But I thought the idea now was to find the best copy because everyone has That's done right. the yeah, digging I know. before. I know, I know, I know. I only yeah. So I, I got out of that game a long time ago. Just in case there's a fire. I'm always preparing for the worst. <laughs> so, yeah. What if there's a flood? I assume that's worse because then the records still are there. They just look all mildewy. That happened to me. So mom. you're always constantly reminded of, you know, of you failure. Should, you should have got, you should have hired the plumber. Yeah. Shit. That's what happened on all my old records, but. Yeah. Um, let's, let's dive into your, your acting career. Let's um, dive right into the deep well of acting. That, yes, that I do. You were, um, you were, you're in an Oscar-nominated film. How about that? First try. I call it beginner's luck. Whatever. Or, you were just that good. Maybe I am. Maybe. So you played the chemistry teacher in the film Juno, starring Ellen Page. Yeah, all four seconds. Those are those are some big seconds though, because you've gotten a lot of publicity from it, and a lot of people are very excited about that. I know that's pretty cool, right? Do you think I could actually work that into like a career? Like, if I, you think my chances of getting into another movie based on being uh, having a cameo in an Oscar nominee? You I think, think I, that, I probably, along with the mo- hand modeling, is going to really. You're gonna like, shoot. if I hired an agent, you know, and had a like an eight by ten and all this thing, you think I can actually get a part in something? Yeah, I do. Just but be do like, you actually want to go out on auditions for uh, the Gossip Girl? I don't think I have to. I think they could just be like, the dude was in an Oscar nominated movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, good enough for us. Now, what are you going to impress them with? Your uh, your studies of all of the Schwarzenegger films yeah. as your acting technique? 